or get the fuck out might sound like an abrasive and misogynistic way to greet someone on the internet, and that's by design. 4chan is an extremely abrasive community that prides itself on not catering to users' egos. To put it nicely, the community encourages people not to use their names or other ways to identify themselves, and that includes aspects of a person's identity, such as their race, sexual orientation, or gender. Usually if a discussion doesn't pertain to these identifying factors, they can be used to distract or divert the conversation away from the subject at hand. 4chan was originally created to discuss anime, a fan that has historically been male-dominated, so you can imagine how an anonymous person claiming to be a woman can throw a thread for a loop. Tips or GTFO was first used in 2006 and was used as a way to shame any person identifying themselves as female, basically issuing a challenge that they post pornographic photos of themselves or leave. This was used to shame women entering a male-dominated space, but it was also kind of used as a way to try and keep a conversation on track. In some cases, it might backfire and women would actually post the photos that were being requested, but overall the phrase was fairly effective at trying to keep people who were desperate for female attention from ruining threads. So much so that the phrase became an extremely popular way to dismiss someone even when they hadn't identified themselves as a woman. Though it's been 10 years since the phrase was at its most popular, I still occasionally see people using it across the internet. Recently, I've even seen women on 4chan using a counter to the phrase, post hands. What's even weirder is I've actually seen it work in some situations. Somehow the reversal of objectification will either make men uncomfortable enough to leave the women alone, or in some cases, actually post photos of their hands. I guess in an attempt to get more female attention? It probably only works in some situations, but either way, it's interesting to see how 4chan's still evolving to this day. What's some internet lore that you think is a tale worth telling? Leave a comment down below and have a good evening, Netscape Navigators.